fantastic to welcome to Into the Fire, the Oakley Charger awesome defender, the dynamic Victorian designed to be a high draft pick, the great guy and promising talent, Luke Teal. Nice to meet you, mate. Nice to meet you, LJ. Good to have you on. Thanks, so, brother. <laughs> all good. So, Luke, I know you're a gun now, but what was the young Luke Teal like? Yeah, so obviously played footy for a long time now, sort of grew up playing a bit more in the midfield. So it's only been the last couple of years that I've sort of adapted to the to the halfback role, to the back flanker. But yeah, sort of grew up playing at Glen Iris Junior Football Club and and from there went to sort of inner league and then charges, which I'm still at now, which is yeah, great. But always loved love footy and love getting into it. Yeah. Yeah. You're an offender now, but have the ability to go through the midfield. What position do you prefer and where do you see yourself in years to come? Uh, well, that's a, that's a tough one. You know, you get a lot of the ball in the midfield and, um, yeah, I think that's that's really good. But I've, I've, I've learned to love the, the half-back line. I think it's a yep. great position, especially for for years to come for myself. I think I can see myself, um, yeah, playing a lot through there because you can always see the game the game just unfold in front of you and, yeah, just you know how to pick it. So, yeah, I think half-back's a preferred position for myself. Yeah. yeah. Halfback's a very underrated position, isn't it? It is. It is very underrated. Yeah, you're. You have some serious talent. You played for the Big V. I'm sure you're looking to, forward to pulling on that jumper again. What does it mean for yeah. you to play in for your state? Yeah, I mean, obviously, it's something that I wanted to do so, sort of since I was 11 or 12 years old. For when I knew what the Big V was, and my brother, who's a, a couple years older than myself, played in his under 16 year and ever since that I've sort of yeah aspired to to play for that and and to get that opportunity was great and play against big country was obviously yeah seriously good fun and just to to learn off all the boys the best players in the state was yeah just a great chance yeah yeah it would have been a great experience yeah it was yeah you got to play with the under 17 championship team last year with a lot of quality players How's the team to, going to look this year and what's the back line looking like? Yeah, we did have a lot of great players. Obviously, we got Will Ashcroft, Elijah Sardis and sort of George Wardlaw, Blake Drury, all, all guns through the middle and they sort of hold up the fort for us. But um, yeah, sort of with those training camps and hubs that we had pre-Christmas and during the summer, the team shaping up really well and and with the, yeah, a couple of good, good blokes down in the back line, I think. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll be good this season, hopefully. Yeah, it's very exciting. Mm. When you played for Victoria last year, how did you think you went? I mean, I know you were good, but how did you see your game? Um, yeah, not bad. I think you can never be too satisfied with how you go, obviously. Um, so, yeah, can't get too comfortable because obviously someone's ready to take your position at any chance. So I think you always just got to be striving to be better, but um, I think um, I played my role well and, and yeah, obviously it was a, a good foundation to build on for this year, I reckon. Yeah, you pray, played really well, mate. Thanks. All good, mate. You're in the National Academy, which is so great. Congratulations on that, mate. So, well deserved. What are you looking forward to most with this opportunity? Yeah, obviously with the National Academy, we've got the training camp coming up in a, a couple of weeks now, which will be a good chance to sort of meet all the boys and, and the coaches. And just, I think the biggest thing will just be to learn, learn off everyone there. Obviously it's the best, best players and best coaching staff in the nation for under 18. So yeah. I reckon it'll be, yeah, a good opportunity to, to strengthen my already good strengths and then to, to build on my weaknesses. I think, yeah. Yeah, definitely. Mm. Now being the leader you are is a huge tick to your draft ambitions. Have you always been that general type of player or do you enjoy that leadership type role? Um, I've always sort of liked to to lead a bit. You know, I like, yeah. especially down, down in the back line, I like to be um, sort of in command and just know know what the, the back line are doing and sort of help them out wherever they need help and sort of obviously just, yeah, work together as a, as a back six and just, yeah, love to use my knowledge to sort of help help other boys, which, yeah, I think I, I love doing. Mm. Yeah, and leadership's a very good attribute, isn't it? Yeah, indeed it is. Yeah. 
So you have a lot of Oakley Chargers in your Vic squad this year. That must be cool going into the season. If a riot, you play you play the other big guns, Sandringham, this weekend. How are you boys going to go? And are you playing? I I sure am playing. Yep, I'll be be lining up on the yeah. on the half pack again. So, but yeah, I think it's great sort of having that many boys in Vic Metro. Obviously, just means there's so much talent, but. We've also sort of become such great mates over the past year, year and a half, which is great for the team chemistry. And then to convert that over to Chargers, there's so many, so much more talent there that that we all sort of gel well together. And I think, yeah, coming up against Sandy, who will be a a tough a tough opponent, but I reckon um yeah I reckon the boys will hopefully get the job done. But yeah, no doubt it'll be tough. Yeah, I'm guessing you're pretty excited for the game. Yeah, it'll be great. It'll be good fun. Yeah, it will be. Now, you're highly touted to be right up there in the draft this year. Do you read the draft media? It's hard to get away from, isn't it? It is a bit, but, you know, I think um, that stuff can can sort of change how you see yourself or or just change you know, your perception of yourself. So I think, yeah, it's best to stay away from that because it, it could like sort of get you excited or... If it's yeah. bad news, it could sort of bring you down a bit. So I think it's yeah something that a lot of people should probably stay away from, including myself. And I try to try to do that. Yeah, it must be a bit hard at times though. Friends ever send you some stuff? Yeah, they do, and I get yeah a lot of a lot of things sent to me and and that sort of stuff. But it's usually um, always good things that the friends send you. So they don't they don't often send you the bad stuff. But um, yeah, it's it's always a bit of fun. But got to manage it i guess yeah okay so let's tell everyone what they get from you an awesome defender with the potential to run around the midfield as a big bodied mid an absolute general down back who can both shut down opponents and then run off them a great mark with great hands and always wins the marking contest even when outnumbered a great user of the ball with quick hands who can play anywhere you're simply a gun what are your <laughs> what are your areas of improvement mate um, I'd probably say just for this season, just getting some good, so a bit more coverage of the ground. So, um, obviously in, in transition from offense to defense, just learning how to, how to spread with my opponent and, um, yeah, just always keep track of him and just as well, um, defense to offense, just peeling off my man and, and using the space provided on the field to its full potential and just, yeah, always providing that link up, whether it's through the middle or just out of the back line. Yeah. Yeah, always something to work on, isn't there? Yeah, absolutely. Can never yeah. be too good. No, true. <laughs> you just you just had testing not long ago. How did that go for you, mate? How did the yo-yo treat you? Unfortunately, I actually didn't test. I oh. uh, I, I had a, a bad ankle sprain about six weeks ago, which put me out put me out of the testing, which was unfortunate because I was I was ready to go for that and I was quite excited. But, you know, I'm, I'm back now and, and 100% again, which is good. But hopefully I'll get the chance to, to test later in the year. Yeah, what do you think you would have done best at in the test? Uh, I'm, I'm quite the um, endurance runner, so I'd, I'd probably say, say the yo-yo or one of the vertical jumps. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Here's some easy questions for you, mate. You get a chance to chat to one of the AFL players about your game. Who do you choose? Oh, that's a tough one. Um, probably someone like Tom Stewart from the from the Cats. He's obviously similar yeah. similar height and size to me, and and he's obviously a great defender. So I think we're sort of similar in our roles and and how we play. So I think being able to pick his brain and and just learn from him would be yeah a bit of a treat and. Yeah, it would certainly help help my game out, I reckon. Yeah, and he'd be a bloody good bloke to talk to, wouldn't he? I reckon he would be a great bloke, yeah. Yeah. Who are your best mates in the state side? Uh obviously you got the uh, the Chargers boys who I'm I'm quite close with, Elijah and George and then Blake Drury as well. But um obviously you got like Harry Harry Sheasel as well, who's a who's a great fella. Who yeah, I've got to know in a bit. And yeah, the the back the back boys as well, sort of Louis Hayes. They're all, all good fellas down at Metro. So yeah, we all get along quite well. Yeah, sounds like you got a few friends there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
here's some easy questions, mate. Oh, sorry. What ASL team do you go for? I'm a I'm a Hawk supporter. So yeah, we've had a had a good start to the season. Yeah, you you like them this season? You reckon they're gonna get far? Finals maybe? Yeah, you look after round one and two. I'm predicting some finals. I certainly didn't expect it um, before the season, but yeah, it's definitely that's definitely the expectation now. I reckon. Yeah, they're they're up and coming, aren't they? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay, let's ask some non-footy questions, mate. What do you like to do in your spare time? Um, I got a well, I got a beach house down sort of the surf coast in Anglesey, so I like to, um. Do some surfing every now and then whenever I whenever I get the chance to to sort of get down there, which is always good. And then love playing golf just around around the local local courses around here, which is with the mates, which is always always good to get your mind off things. Yeah. Yeah, it's always fun to do. Yep. <laughs> yeah. You get to go and play in any other sport. What would you do best in? Oh, uh, I'm not sure. I, I used to I used to be a keen basketballer when I was a bit younger. I used to go pretty well at that. So I'd say, yeah, maybe play some low-level basketball, maybe. Yeah, any good in the paint or maybe three-point shooting, you reckon? No, in the paint, mate. Yeah. Yeah, paint beast. Yeah, absolutely. (laughs) What is your go-to video game? Oh, I actually haven't played video games in a long time, but I'd probably say... Something like GTA, Grand Theft Auto, oh, yeah. I reckon. That's a good yeah. game, isn't it? Yeah, it's a, it's a fun one. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Now, yeah. being that you're back, it's a bit harder to use what I'm about to give you. But look, when you run through that midfield, there'll be a time you see those big sticks and bang one through. It's that time mm. you need to have a celebration because, let's be honest, you're a defender and you wouldn't have one. So you can have mine, right? The end of the fire. <laughs> yeah, well, it, it, it's been a long time since I've kicked a goal playing off the half back line, so well, I'll probably have to, time. Yeah, I might might have to pull one out this season. I'll probably just yeah, oh, I don't, I wouldn't even know how to celebrate to be honest. Good, but you I'm, got one I'm, now then. Oh, <laughs> probably just the old just the old fist bump, you know. Yeah. Get the crowd up. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely. Absolutely. Well, thanks so much for jumping on my show today, Luke. You're a tremendous guy, and I can see why you are so well liked. Good luck for the year. I look forward to hearing your name when the draft comes around. No worries, LJ. Thanks for having me, mate. Thanks for coming on, mate.